Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. My name is Betsy and today I'm going to be working on an exercise that really helps me to let go of my need for control when I'm drawing. So I'm going to be using this Lexington Gray ink. So it is a bottled ink and I'm also going to be using the same brand of Noodler's ink but in just the straight black. So like I said, I'm using gray ink and black ink. And I'm going to start off with a watercolor brush to just really loosely really almost intuitively just lay down some ink and i'm going to show you in just a second here it's really important to kind of shake the bottle of ink so that you have you have the cleanest ink because sometimes it can separate a little bit and so after stirring it up i am going to lay something down so i don't make a mess and then like i said i'm just going to use one of my brushes, and I did not grab the smallest one. This is kind of like a medium sized brush. And I'm starting off with the gray ink. And I'm not making any particular shapes. I'm just trying to see what it looks like. It It's almost like I'm doing a just a test of the ink where I'm just making these very random shapes and just seeing what the ink can do. And those of you who know how to play with watercolor, this is a good chance to kind of use some of the techniques. You know, you could even add a little bit of water to create some gradients. That would be fine. I chose not to. I'm just using the ink straight from the bottle, just seeing what it can do all on its own. And I don't mind if I have some areas that are a little sketchy or just different colors. I'm just trying to see what it can do. Going around in a few circles here and there and coloring in some areas. So you can see there is no method to this. I am just kind of setting down a whole bunch of ink and trying to do my best to eliminate a lot of that white. And now I'm going in with the black and just trying to see how dark it is. It is fairly dark. Depending on what I do with it, it can it can be a little bit less less than a full black. So I'm just doing the same with this black ink and just going around and finding areas that I think I want to put some black in. This is very much a, a an, an exercise in just letting your mind be free and just letting things go. I have such a huge tendency to want to control every aspect of my drawings and I plan things meticulously sometimes and so because of that, lately, at least in this project during Inktober, I've been doing or working my hardest to really kind of let go of that control, to really let go of the steering wheel in a way. And so this is another one of those exercises that's really helping me to, to kind of change that. So here you see there's this total mess on my paper. It is not pretty, it is not beautiful, it is not balanced, it is none of those things. But what this is going to do is provide me with a foundation that I can do all of my little line work and just kind of see where it goes. So what you're going to see here in time lapse is I'm just going to be using a fine liner. And the ink in this fine liner is also waterproof, just like the ink that I use from the bottles. And as I go through here, I am actually very uncomfortable with the shapes that I'm having to make. I'll admit that this is doing exactly what I expected it to do. I'm seeing shapes and forms that I just don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to fill them. And so I'm just resorting to the types of shapes that I draw in, in my normal practice. Just lots of doodling, lots of line work, and just kind of laying things out and just trying to see what I can do. This is, again, very much part of the process where I'm just allowing my subconscious to just create create shapes and shadows wherever I think there needs to be a shape and a shadow. And as you can see, it just starts to fill up really nicely. It's not very refined yet still. These are really just lines that I think might work. And the great thing about this is that even if I feel uncomfortable while I'm drawing this, which I guarantee you I am, there were so many spaces here that I just didn't know what to do with them. And even though I'm, I'm uncomfortable at this stage in the drawing with what I'm creating, I just keep going. And little by little things start to build up. 
knowing fully well that because I am working with waterproof inks, I can easily paint over these with white ink as well, or white paint. And I do actually end up doing that off screen. And because of that, I end up with a few more details at the end here. But you can see here, I'm just about done kind of doing all of this little line work and all these little hatch marks. And I do actually just let this sit overnight. And then when I come back to this, this morning today, I came back to it in the morning and added little bits of white and other details here. And this is what happened. This is what I ended up with here for drawing number 18. I think it really does help to let the subconscious kind of rest and think about it. And I definitely did that. And now that I came back, I found so many new little details that I wanted to add. And so I added those with white ink. So this is my creation for day 18 of Inktober. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye.